Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, Mike here with another beginner lesson in R Studio. Uh, if you saw my first lesson, uh, we saw how to create our own little toy data set in Excel, bring it into R, how to download R in R Studio, uh, and get ourselves kind of ready to go. Uh, this time we're going to use a, a more complete data set um, and then see how to do a simple uh, scatter plot diagram. Uh, always a good place to start with uh, statistics and econometrics and taking advantage of one of the things that our studio does so well, which is graphics. Uh, so if you've seen some of my Stata tutorials, you know that I use a lot of examples and data sets from the Jeffrey Woldridge Introductory Econometrics textbook, uh, which I really like. Uh, it's a great book. I teach with the book. That's one reason. Uh, the other reason is uh, it has readily accessible data sets uh, that you can drop right into Stata. No muss, no fuss, you're ready to go. Well, it turns out there's the same thing available for our studio. So the first thing we want to do is install the package that will give us uh, direct access to those data sets. So again, for those of us starting out in our studio, when we think of a, a package, it's a sub-program, a set of routines uh, that'll complete specific tasks for us. So if we're in our studio and we click on packages, well, of course, there's a seemingly endless uh, set of possibilities, uh, some of which are already installed for you, some of which you got to go get and know what they do. Uh, but the one we want to install here is the Woldridge package. So in our coding space over here, install dot packages, parentheses, Quotes, Woldridge, not capitalized. And I already have it installed here, so it's going to overwrite it. There it is. So what that does, it gives us, again, direct access to the dozens and dozens, if not more, uh, data sets uh, that are used in that textbook. So whether you have the textbook or not, doesn't really matter. It's, it's a good one to have on your shelf. Uh, but when you're learning a new program, uh, learning a new language, having access to data sets, at least to play around with uh, and to follow along with examples, uh, is really, really useful. So once we have the package installed, we can type in here library. And Woldridge, there it is. Uh, and now that'll give us access to all of these data sets. So if we type in data, and in parentheses, it's going to bring up the entire list of all of the data sets that are used in that Woldridge textbook that we now have access to. So for our little example, uh, let's bring up the, uh, the data set wage1 which is a, a classic, right? So it's going to have uh, hourly wages as a function of education, age, work experience, uh, other individual level uh, characteristics. Right? So it's, it's reading in up here. In a second, those will, the variables and, uh, and observations will all be available there. So while we're waiting for that, uh, the, the task that we'll do, uh, for now, uh, is just again to create a simple little scatter plot, and so the command here is just going to be plot. And if you look at all the options here, the plot command can do a lot for us. The default, however, without any of those options, is going to be the simple x y scatter plot. So when we want to refer to a specific variable within a data frame. We first have to type in the name of the data frame here, wage one, and then a dollar sign, and then the name of the variable. So right on time, we have our, our full data set read in here. So if we expand that out, that gives us all of the, the variables. And they also come up here when we type in the name of the data frame. So. Uh, within this plot command, it just simply is plot, name of the x variable, name of the y variable. Uh, so let's try to plot 
wage as a function of education. So we can redo wage one dollar sign, then the name of the variable, which is in this case is wage. So that's x comma y within parentheses for that plot command. We hit enter, and in the lower right there is the output. So there's your standard default scatter plot, no bells, no whistles. Gives us more or less what we want, that seemingly nonlinear uh, but positive relationship between education and wage. Then we can start to do a couple options here. So in our studio, at least in uh, in Windows, if you hit the up arrow, uh, the most recent command comes back up. And let's say we want to put a title on our scatter plot. So we go comma, now we'll start putting in our options. So main, and this works in in most any uh, graphic uh, graphical product uh, command, that's going to give us the title. Right? So we put quotes, and this is our first plot in our studio. and our title appears. And then of course we notice that the, the default labels of our y and x variables, well they contain the wage one dollar sign, uh, which is necessary to call them up, but it doesn't look so good in a plot. So we can label those variables and very intuitively, uh, if we want to have an x axis label, it's x l a b equals, and then in quotes, whatever we want to call that x axis, so education in years, in this case, and then y lab equals wage, let's capitalize that, there we go, now things are looking a little bit better, you get the idea, there's a lot of different things you can do, scroll through the, uh, the help menu there, one last thing that's uh, that you might want to play around with is is the color, right? So if we want to change the color of those dots, we can change the shape of them as well. We want to make all of those plots red. C-O-L equals quotes red. And that's a pretty good looking plot there. Uh, and then we want to drop that into our, whatever this is, our assignment that we're turning in or the paper that we're writing. So we just go export copy to clipboard, copy plot, and then you drop it in wherever it is you want it to go. You might have a, a Word document ready to ready for you. And there you have it. So a nice simple scatter plot. Uh, again, lots of other things we could do with it, um, but that's always a good start. So next time we'll look at maybe some histograms using the same data, uh, and then we'll start to generate some new variables, combinations of the variables that are there, and then start to run some regressions and see how we can format that output. All right, thanks a lot.